you have to add to the thing too. Oh. 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 Alex, you're the only guy wearing blue. <laughs> you're the only guy wearing blue. <laughs> Over the right oh. side bet. Oh. That's okay, good job. Good job. Oh. Okay, stop. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. That's not so easy. <laughs> you can get everybody into the boat. Okay? Eloise, you've been saved, don't worry. That's why I did, I did the west so much because it will help your life. Just a price, yeah, we can we can take it. Um, and they're still around. They still produce wine here. It's very expensive. You can see the wine terrace here. Uh, but with this view, people are happy to pay. And a beautiful panorama frog. Do you recognize anything? The tower of the babies. Yeah. Um, remember that, what was his name? Tomas. He was telling us about the artist that made this, right? Uh, David Cerny. And he mentioned the babies. He mentioned the guys that were peeing in the Czech Republic shaped fountain. Uh, the middle finger in the river. There's one that I like more. Um, because this is Prague, right? This was restricted to Prague. If you were not here, you probably never heard of it. But he wanted to go international. And in, if I'm not mistaken, it was 2009. The Czech Republic was selected for the presidency of the EU. And you know that they rotate this everywhere. You probably don't know anymore because soon you won't be part of the EU. But um, they rotate every year, right? Uh, and it's 
my photographer who started this to select a local artist to do something to celebrate this occasion, right? And the Czech government, they knew from the beginning. They're like, we don't want that guy, the baby guy that we chose. He's going to embarrass us in front of all of Europe. So rather than just choosing someone, they had this competition. Czerny, he entered, but he... Square, and this is the best place to see the architecture lasagna that I mentioned before because from right here without moving just looking around you can see every single style of architecture that exists here in the castle so the first one is Romanesque we already talked about it it's the oldest right and you can see Romanesque right there the tower of the St. George uh, Basilica the facade is very different but I'll get to that in a second after Romanesque we already know that Gothic came along and we have a great example of Gothic right here. This building behind me is the St. Vitus Cathedral. It's uh, the most, the, the holiest place for Catholic people in the Czech Republic, right? This is um, where the Archbishop of Prague sits. And uh, it's, it's beautiful. It, it has all the elements that you usually associate with Gothic right here. So what are some of the things that um, come to your mind? If you think of Gothic, Dark, gargoyles, yeah, you can see some gargoyles over there. In Romanesque, before Gothic, we had round arches, look at that. Here we have pointed arches. Now this, you might have heard people saying that this symbolizes praying hands, right? Or pointing upwards to heaven, but it actually had a, a structural function. The Romanesque churches, they, like the round arch, works up to a certain extent as churches got bigger and heavier the round arch tends to collapse in the center but the uh, pointed arch pushes the weight uh, sideways right so it's better for for this reason they say that this is actually a Guys, have you heard of a BBC competition a few years ago? It was called The Greatest Britain. No. Never heard of that. That's something the BBC did, and they. Any Jesus, by the way. This is a Jesus that works out. Look at that guy. <laughs> Jesus with a six pack. Yeah. Uh, and below that, you have two figures kneeling, right? So I guess it's back down. This is Charles IV himself and his fourth wife, Elizabeth of Pomerania. He was married four times. And the last time, this girl, um, he was already pretty old and she was quite young. She was a teenager. And they say that they were really young. But she was freakishly strong. So he would use her as a party trick, kind of. They say that people would go visit the king and he'd be like, Honey, break the sword. Because you are the largest castle in the world. You are. You have been inhabited for a thousand years. Uh, you are a big thing. You have a king, even though the king has been living in Vienna, right? But um, you're still a big deal. And then 1918, after World War One, entered the castle from the exit, right, and made their way to the main entrance. This is it. This right here is the Titan's Gate, and it's the official first entrance to the castle. There's a wall right here. Yeah, 
Have you heard the, the story already? So the, the, the castle uh, in the beginning of the night, it did not have any lights. I mean, inside yet, but no lights for tourists like this. It was dark at night. And the president, the first president, uh, this country had after the revolution, he, he was a personal friend of a famous British band. The guys that were famous in the 70s and they're still around. The Beatles are not around. The Rolling Stones.